Don't forget about that subscription button. All right, welcome back, guys. We're going to change the color and the look of this 3D graphic here. You can also do 2D graphics and change the simple color of things. We'll just quickly demonstrate that. Going back to batch, so if I hit escape, that takes me back to batch. So I can do spacebar A to zoom back out. Let's go ahead and go to our batch nodes and find that text node, drag that on in, and double clicking on that, that brings us on in. We're going to click new layer. And this is defaulting to my um, Autodesk font library. I want it to actually go to my computer fonts. So I'm gonna to navigate to library, go to fonts, and here's all my fonts. So let's go ahead and just find whatever, like this Abarth. There we go. So in the text, we can also align things. We'll go ahead and align that and then make it bigger so we can see this for the demonstration. Um, here we have fill. So this is how you can change the colors. If you want to do like an underline, you can put an underline. Um, you can adjust the width of it. You can do an outline. Let's make this just god awful. And then the, adjust the width of that. You can change the back. Oh yeah, okay, a little border. Yeah, you can do the border and change the color of that. You can do a drop shadow to change the color of that. Um, this is one way of doing a, a drop shadow. I prefer not to do drop shadows in here. Uh, you can also blur that drop shadow and stuff. Okay, so that's kind of a quick little overview of the text within batch. So let's go back to action. So I just press my little ISKEY key there. Okay, so back in here, you know, I just actually did a little research while I I kind of paused that you guys didn't even see it because I edited this, but hey, this is like the little thing. So if you press the tilde key, it's not the whatever I was calling it, it's a tilde key, there we go. Then double click on that text and here is our text. Go on into node bin. We're gonna take a look at some stuff. So there's different ways of, of altering this. If we click on geometry, you can diffuse and that's where you can actually just change the color of it. So we're just going to leave that as white because we're actually going to apply a texture to this instead of just changing the overall color of it. And we can we can dive into 3D text. You know, you can create a be, you know a bevel to it, extrude it, and then slice that on out to be able to change just the color of this. It, it can be like a whole nother thing. And when we're past this tutorial series, I'll probably di dive in a little deeper with creating 3D keys in flame, you know, doing this in flame and just really diving deep into those things. But since this is beginners, I'm just going to show you kind of a down and dirty way of getting something really quick. And so if you just wanted to change the color of it, say you just needed to have, you know, a nice purple key, then you just change it right there and that would be that. But that's not what we're going to want to do. We want to actually comp in a nice, you know, texture into this. And let's take a look here. So we're going to do a, a diffuse map with that selected. Drag the diffuse map on out here. Right now it's diffusing my scene into it because that's the only thing I have loaded in here. But I actually want to utilize this metallic. So one way of, of bringing that in is to have it mapped in via a layer already into action. You can just have this right here. We have that there. And then I'm going to drag that on off. We'll drag this on off too, just to kind of show you what's going on here. If I go to my media, and if you click on these, so here's my background image, and then here's my actual rusty image. Then we can go to the node and pull up diffuse map then that is going to map that on into there. You know, that's definitely a great way of doing it. I'm going to undo that to kind of demonstrate another way of doing it, that first way of, of what I had done to do it. So I'm going to go tilde key back into here. We're going to have that. Let's come back into, into where we were. Here's our layer. We're going to drag a diffuse map on out here. And then it maps the footage into there, which kind of looks cool, but that's not what we're wanting to do. We're wanting to use this material to be able to map into that. So I'm just going to grab it from our graphics reel and drag it 
right onto there and it maps on into there. If I click over here into my third preview and press the number four, that's gonna be the output of my action. So right now I'm looking at the, at the different node of whatever I, I'm selecting and that's what's viewing here. And this is the full final comp output. So let's go ahead and do that same thing with this. Let's go ahead and we have that selected, that works. Go ahead and drag that on out there and there's that. So there, now we have a nice little map of that. If we double click on the on the effect, we can adjust the brightness of it. Um, we can adjust the softness of it. If we wanted to kind of change the colors of it, we can go ahead and get matchbox, color corrector, there's color correct. And with this being selected, I dragged my color corrector and it connected on out. If it wasn't selected, it would just drag on out here like this and I can just click on this hold down shift and kiss them together and that connects it. Or I can just drag, oh, where is it? There it is. Oh, no. Can I just drag? Yeah, see so you drag that little white arrow and that connects it. So that's a way of connecting effects to here. So connecting that effect onto there, then I can go ahead and bring down the contrast, bring that on up, bring down the, uh, the saturation, you know, how we're kind of wanting to go with that muted look and then kind of slide it on over into the yellowish greenish to kind of fold in with this, this scene a little bit better. See this kind of yellowish greenish tint. Let's just kind of do that same thing with this. So I'm just clicking and dragging on my color here and moving it around to get into where I like that. I have this color corrected, but it's not affecting this. So if I just click this, hold down shift, kiss that, bam. Now that same color grade is affecting both of those in the in the shot. Okay, the next uh, the next video we're going to go ahead and, and start adding some tracking points in here and tracking the CG into the scene here. Hey guys, don't forget to uh, take a look at my my Patreon. I wanted to say Patron, man, Patron sounds good, but a uh, Patreon account. You know, if you feel like it, leave leave us a little little uh, little buck or two or whatever. That'd be awesome. Take a look, guys. Thank you.